guys, it is Arika Misha and I'm back in the kitchen. Yes, your girl is back in the kitchen cooking because y'all know I love to cook. So let's get into this meal, what we're doing today. This is, you can do this anytime you want, but this is a Sunday dinner. Sunday dinner, y'all, for the Lord's Day. Sunday. All right. So let's get into it. So y'all see, I got the Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's. I love this barbecue sauce. But you know what? Kraft also has a really good barbecue sauce. So we got two Sweet Baby Ray's. Uh, let me show y'all that again. Hickory Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce. I got two of those. And I got to have the Idahoan. I have the uh, Groton. Homestyle casserole with cheesy or uh, rotten sauce. Ooh, the cheesy or uh, rotten potatoes. And your potatoes gotta come from Idaho, y'all, don't they? Ain't this where all the potatoes at? In Idaho? Yeah, I think that's where they all at. So your potato gotta come from Idaho, y'all. I don't, I don't know about anywhere else, but okay. All right. Anyway, so the main course we have is some barbecue. It's gonna be some barbecue pork. As you guys see, I already y'all know I already marinated them overnight. Look at them. Woo-wee. It's like the barbecue ribs without the bones. You can buy them, you know, like this section and cut up. I don't know if y'all having me at grocery store, but y'all already know I got this on my favorite grocery store, Publix. Yes. They all nice and seasoned. They smell so good, y'all. Yeah. I'm ready to get these in the oven. So we're doing some nice in the oven, some broil barbecue uh pork, barbecue ribs. Minus the bones. So, and we've got some um, cheesy potatoes. Yes, quick Sunday morning dinner, quick. In and out the kitchen. Throw your meat in the oven, throw your potatoes in the oven at the same time, bam, we're gonna throw all both in the oven at the same time. Almost said something. The devil is a lie. All right, let go. All right, let's get our meat panned up so we can get it in the oven with our potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and do the ribs first. I'm going to go ahead and get those uh, nicely panned up so I can get those in the oven. And I'm going to come back and show y'all the potatoes. And then we're going to put everything in the oven at the same time. So I sprayed my pan so my meat don't stick. Duh. All right. And I'm just going to line the meat up. Just line your pork up just like that. Remember, we already marinated it overnight. So it's all nicely seasoned. Yes. Ooh, it's going to be good. And I love, let me give y'all a close look at these, at the meat. Just nothing but meat. A little fat in there. Just a little bit of fat. Not that much. Need a little fat with your meat. Got to have a little bit of fat. And just lay them flat side down. See what we're gonna put this one in. Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze it down there. Try to make it all cute. Remember, presentation is everything. How you present yourself is everything. All right, now. Work y'all already know where the day coming. It's coming. So that's just a little nibbling. How you present yourself is everything. All right, so we got our meat all panned up. It's ready to go in the oven. That's it. Simple. That's it. That's all. So we got our meat ready. Let me wash my hands off real quick. Nice little quick Sunday dinner. Nice quick Sunday dinner. You ain't got to be in the kitchen all day because you got to go to church. Something like that. All right, so we got our meat all panned up. I'm going to put it to the side because I'm going to put the potatoes in the oven at the same time. That way your potatoes and your meat is cooking at the same time. Mm. So let's move on to the potatoes, guys. All right, let's get our potatoes going. Now, the potatoes, eh, simple, not too simple, however you see it. But me, I see it easy. All right, so let's see. All right, our instruction says you will need a half a cup of boiling water. Uh-oh, sorry, I thought y'all could see. Let me see here. Come on now. Okay, half a cup of boiling water, three-fourth cup of milk, and one tablespoon of butter and margarine. All right, preheat oven for 50, combine potatoes and sauce, mix one and a half uh, in a one and a half quarter baking dish, stir one and a half cup of boiling water, uh, three-fourth cups of milk, and one tablespoon of butter or margarine. Bake uncovered for 25 minutes or until top is golden brown and potatoes are tender. All right. That's it. That's all. That's easy, y'all. 
Let me see y'all can see it. Anyway. All right, so since I have two boxes, of course I had to measure out all my ingredients, double portion. So let's get our potatoes in here. And as you can see, it's not that many potatoes in one box. So, you know, for me and the girls, I needed two boxes. All right, let's make sure we're doing this right. Okay, all right. Oven 450 potatoes and sauce mix. Okay, okay, so we got to mix the potato and the sauce. So, I already have the sauce packets, the little powder cheese sauce that was in the box with the potatoes. I already took that out. So, got to mix the potatoes. Make sure I'm doing this right now. I've done this before, but it's been a while. Combine potatoes and sauce. Mix in, okay, so the potatoes and the sauce. I got the potatoes in there. Dumping my sauce in. All right, now. All my stuff I paid for. All my stuff. Yep, make sure I get all my stuff I paid for. All right, so I'm gonna mix this up. Mix the potatoes and the sauce. Kind of mix that up. I mean, you can't really mix it. It's like dry. So, I usually just wait till I put all the other ingredients in. Let me make sure y'all can see. Okay, y'all can see. All right, so we did that. Okay, now stir in one and a half cup of boiling water. And I already have my water over here boiling. I'm going to stir this in. Two, one and a half, one and a half. So, you know that's a total of three cups. Got to stir that in. Boiling hot water. It's got to be hot. My water was hot over there. Stir that in. We're going to get that stirred in. All right. Uh, stir in hot water. Three-fourth cup of milk and one tablespoon of the butter. Okay. So three-fourth cup of milk. Remember, I had to double my ingredients because I'm cooking two boxes. So this is three-fourth, three-fourth. I measured everything out. Three-fourth cup, two three-fourth cups. And now I'm going to do my two tablespoons. This is my tablespoon measure. Two tablespoons of butter. All right. Got one. A little bit more. All right, two. Make sure I get all, all my stuff. All right, so... We're stirring this in. We're going to get this all nicely mixed. I'm telling you, I love me some cheesy potatoes. And these are really good. And they're not expensive at all. They, I think I paid like $1.81 per box. That's not bad. A dollar and some change. So, they are not expensive. So, I'm going to mix this all up. Y'all can see, make sure you got everything mixed up. Now that hot boiling water we pour in here, that's going to melt our butter. That's going to melt that cheesy powder sauce we had um, at that came in our box with the potatoes. That hot boiling water going to do all of that. And you know what else that hot water boiling, uh, that hot boiling water. It's going to go ahead and start getting them potatoes all nice and soft. So, make sure we got this all nicely mixed. And y'all know these are my Gotham pans. I love my Gotham cookware. Gotham, I'm going to need y'all to start sponsoring me, Gotham. They already follow me on Instagram, y'all. Because Gotham, they, they know I use their cookware. So, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Arika Misha now. And, uh, yeah, Gotham follows me on uh, Instagram. They follow me because they love my channel. They love my, um, they love my uh, things I post. The food and everything I post on my Instagram with their cookware. So I will make sure I take some pictures of this in my Gotham cookware. And um, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm going to need Gotham to start sponsoring. But you know what? I'm still going to go ahead because I still always post uh, Gotham, my Gotham cookware because I love it so much. So, Oh yeah. Alright, so I'm getting this all mixed in real good, y'all. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead, throw it in the oven. Y'all see how that look? Oh, nice. Oh, and all that cheesy sauce. You know, it's kind of like macaroni and cheese. It's, gonna, it's just going to cook and simmer down the potatoes. Oh, this is going to be good. These are some good potatoes, I'm telling y'all. There's some good cheesy potatoes. All right. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this beef, uh, this pork in the oven, and get this um, these potatoes in the oven. And y'all will see when I come back. Next thing, I'll be pulling out all the food. And the potatoes, I think the direction says it's gonna take 25 minutes. And our, uh, our meat should probably be around the same time. So let me go ahead and get everything in the oven, y'all. And the next scene y'all gonna see is the food when I already be done. I'm gonna be bringing it out for y'all. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I've got everything out the oven. I had the potatoes and the uh, boneless barbecue ribs in the oven at the same time. Yep, took about 30 minutes for everything to cook. So the ribs, y'all see them, and look at those cheesy potatoes. Y'all know I got to take y'all into the potato. I got to take y'all in. Look at the cheesy potatoes. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to leave y'all right there. Y'all already saw the barbecue ribs. I got to leave y'all in them cheesy potatoes. All right. Y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. I'm back in the kitchen, y'all. I am back. Let's go over to them barbecue ribs. I got to take y'all into them ribs, too. Got to show the ribs some love. Word of the day. Always show some love to somebody. Always show love to somebody. You never know who need to feel some love. Word of the day. Always show somebody some love. All right. Y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge, oh, yes, is power. All right, guys. Bye.